Hey everyone, this is Spencer with MemberPress, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the emails tab found in your MemberPress options. MemberPress allows you to send out emails to your users, to yourself as administrator, or to any other admins on your site based on certain triggers. To start off, I'm going to be going over the Send Mail From section. This section has two fields, the From Name and From Email fields. Both of these are auto-populated based on general settings in your WordPress site. For example, the From Name field will be whatever you have set up as your site title, and your From Email will be whatever you have set as your email in your general settings of WordPress. Both of these fields can be changed to whatever you want them to be. So if you don't like what you have as your site title to be your From Name, you can change that. Alternatively, you can also change your From Email to be any other email if you don't want to use the one set up in your general WordPress settings. An important note here is that no matter what the email is you have set up, generally speaking, your emails will be sent via your host server. To learn about the advantages or disadvantages of this and the availability that MemberPress offers for you to be able to send out emails via a third um, party mailing system, please view the send mail from section a little bit below on this very same page. Now I'm going to go over the different notices or emails that MemberPress will send out to your, to your users. MemberPress will send out a welcome email when a new user signs up along with a payment receipt notice. MemberPress will also send out the following notices based on canceled subscriptions, upgraded subscriptions, downgraded subscriptions, pause subscriptions, or resume subscriptions. You can also send out emails based on refunded transactions, on failed transactions, or also when a credit card is about to expire of your user. All of these emails can be edited to whatever you need to have the content that fits you and your site the best. I'm not going to go over into too much detail, but when you click on that edit button, it reveals this visual editor where, where you'll be able to make those changes. Here you can enter in special tags that will put information that's specific for the users. So, for example, if I put in this user email tag, it means that whatever the email is that that user used to sign up will appear in the email where that tag is placed. Another cool feature of MemberPress is this user meta tag. What this allows you to do is enter in any custom fields that you have in your fields tab of your options. So to see how that works, I've already included that here in this email. So I've got a little note at the bottom of my welcome email that includes my support number along with, in case my users forget, the number that they entered when registering. And so I have this custom field that's called office phone. When using this user meta tag, you need to make sure that it's formatted correctly. So a big thing is just making sure there aren't any spaces and that the slug is exactly correct. So if I go up to my fields tab, you'll see that here's that custom field, the office phone, and here's the slug. This is the slug that you want to use and like I said, you need to make sure that it's exactly correct, just like I have it entered here. I'm going to show you how that looks a little bit later on, but first I'm going to go over the rest of, the, of this page. Like I said, MemberPress can allow you to send these very same notices to you as administrator or any other admins on your site. This um, field here is where you want to put those administrator emails. As a note, one good thing of just common practice is to make sure that this admin email is different from your from email. And the reason for that is because some host servers will have a problem sending an email out to themselves. Another thing is that you can enter in more than one email. Just make sure that it's a comma separated list. When you send a test email, for example, to see how the email will actually look in an email setting, all of the test emails will be sent to all of the administrator emails that you have set up here. So just keep that in mind when sending tests. So I'm going to show you what those emails look like. So by clicking send test, that's how you'll send those emails. And like I said, those will be sent to your administrator emails that you have set. And here's what that general welcome email will look like. So here you go. That's that general email. Now I want to show you what the email will look like with those custom fields populated. So here's that. So this is a user that I just had sign up, and here's that field that was auto-populated. If I had entered something wrong, 
the field would enter in just kind of like how it's how it looks here except with whatever mistake I had in it so for example I put a space here then it would show up like that and that would not be correct one important note is when testing these custom fields in your emails you need to make sure that you do an actual test sign up because they won't be sent in just the general send test email so that's the basic settings of your emails tab of um, your member press options. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks.